How y'all doing today? Check it out, check it out, check it out. I know y'all seen the change on the channel, man. Rebuke All Devils Radio. You know what I'm saying? 107.7. We gonna go ahead and rock with it like that for right now. You know what I'm saying? I think that change is uh, appropriate. Appropriate. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope y'all like it. But uh, check this out. You know, we got this story coming up out of the Insider, right? Carl Clemens Hop Hopkins made history at the Emmys by wearing an outfit with the colors of the non-binary flag. Now, as y'all uh, can see, shout out to the insiders for bringing this, Michaela. Y'all can see this man with a dress on. Let's pause for a minute and go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 15. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on the woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right? So that's how the most I see men like this. Check it out. Let's get into the story. Carl Clement Hopkins became the first non-binary person to be nominated for Best Supporting Actor at the 37th, no, the, the 73rd Emmy Awards on Sunday. To celebrate the hacks, actor walked the red carpet in the custom Christ, uh, Christian Sereno outfit inspired by the non-binary flag, according to the designer. The actor's white bottom-down shirt, black trousers, purple belt, and purple and yellow train featured the colors of the flag. The concept behind the look was Clement Hopkins' idea, Sereno said in a statement sent to Insider. Carl and their stylist, Joy Tisha, sent me a few inspiration ideas, so I went with something that felt powerful but elegant. Carl wanted to represent the non-binary colors, which is why I felt the belt was just the right amount of representation, Serrano said. <laughs> it was an honor to create this look for Carl, and it would definitely go down as one of my most memorable looks that really has a meaningful purpose behind it, he added. Now remember what we just read in the Bible. The Most High does not condone this. You see? The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on the woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So this is an abomination. You see? This is, this is confusion. The outfit was created as an homage to the non-binary flag and celebrating our identities and beauty beyond the het heteronormative standard. Clemens Hopkins stylist Jotisha Bridges wrote in an Instagram post on Sunday. The star reflected on how they came to identify as non-binary in an essay pen for the Hollywood Reporter in July, writing that they began to identify as queer in college board before exploring gender norms during lockdown. In the past five or six years, I've been doing a lot on studies on the origins of masculinity, where all these rules and norms came from. At the same time, there's been so much violence and misunderstanding with trans folks and other queer people, Clement Hopkins wrote. I was figuring out where I fit in all of that. And then quarantine hit. There was so much time to explore my gender identity or lack of gender identity, they added. The actor went on to describe how this has altered their experience playing Marcus in Hacks, a character they describe as a man who identifies as a man. I would go into work situations and think, you have to make sure you're being a man. Now, I could just worry about being the character. It's incredibly freeing to focus on the character knowing that I myself am more resolved, they wrote. He's a man. You'll always be a man. Representative for Serenio did not immediately respond to insiders' request for comment. Yeah, and you know, and it's a trip because you know, in some other scriptures, you know, where the Most High, you know, talk about that kind of activity, you know what I mean? And it's off in the book of Leviticus. I think it was Leviticus uh, 18. I think it was Leviticus 18 and 22. Let me, let me get it right quick. 
Okay, we got that one. Let me get this one right here. All right, it's Leviticus chapter 18, verse uh, 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. So once again, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. We jump over to chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them has committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. The blood shall be upon them. That's what the scripture reads. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And that's what the scriptures read in the Bible. So the Most High don't condone that. But this is exactly what they push in today. This kind of confusion and madness. You know? And look how big this dude is. This is a big old man. You know what I mean? Big man, hairy beard, hairy face, hairy chest. And he's dressing in women apparel. I don't think it's cool. I think it's confusion. I'm rolling with the most high. You know, a man shouldn't wear that. You know what I'm saying? You should be how the most high created you. And that's exactly what he is. He created man for woman. And he created woman for man. And you can find that. That was actually off in uh, the book of Genesis. I think it was uh, Genesis... Uh, Uh, I think it was uh, Genesis 1 and 7, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created he, them. You see that? Male and female. Okay. And why did he do this? See, this is Genesis chapter 2, verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. 22, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. 23, and Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. He shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. That's how the most I designed it. But uh, yeah, tell me what y'all think about this, man. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to click on that notification bell. You know, and don't forget about that hundred dollar Visa gift card I'll be giving away, man. As soon as we hit three hundred subscribers, you know what I'm saying. Appreciate y'all for appreciate y'all for tuning in, and drop your comments down below. Peace.